Hey guys, it's Green Zephyr. Um, I'm very sorry this video took so long to come out. I've had this set for like over a week now. Um, but I'm just not getting around to the video, so um, hopefully that's okay. Um, so this is the uh, Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport set. And so for the minifigures, we have a guard... Then we have Ellie Sattler. And then Ian Malcolm. Then we have a exact reprint and um, exact copy of the one of the Dilophosaurus from the set from uh, 2020 I think or 2019 one of the two of those it's completely identical um, which is kind of sad like they could have made it on a darker green or something or done something totally different but they decided to make an exact copy which is the first time they've ever done that in two different years other than with the T-Rex from 2015 and 2018, and Blue from two sets that were in 2018. And there might be more, um, but I can't think of any right now. But anyway, and this is an exact copy, which is kind of sad. Well, and I guess the Pteranodon from 2015 and 2018 too. Then we have brand new figure Pyroraptor. Now, this breaks the um, rules of Lego Dinosaurs because um, in order for it to be recognizable as um, true Lego um, as a dinosaur, the two things it needs, either one or the other, it either needs to have painted claws and teeth or rubber at some point somewhere on the body. And this one has neither. So they did a really terrible job with like how lazy they were first of all the orange should be replaced with black and how much cooler would that look that'd be awesome um second of all yeah we have no painted claws no painted teeth super lazy job and no rubber they could have made the um, feathers up on the head here rubber so you could like push them down or whatever but nope that's hard plastic same with the tail that could have been rubber and the other issue you see this stud here well all the boxes are misprinted um, at least for now and there's no stud on the back right there. It's completely um, bare. Same with the one in this corner. But yeah, there's there's no stud on the back. And here we have one. Um, I think the newer boxes that were printed more recently actually do have the stud on the box. Because I've seen some images online um, that had the stud. But then there's also like the originals that like don't like this box. So that's interesting. Um, anyway, then we have the truck, which we have, okay, so it's a Biosyn truck, um, it's pretty decent sized, it has a taser staff here that attaches onto the side of the vehicle, and then on this side, it has a fire extinguisher. So, here we have the front. We have this piece, which, like, can move up and down. Same with this bar going here on the windshield. It can move up and down. And we have the mirrors on the sides that move. And then we have um, the top. So, this piece comes off. And so, it just fits on with these pieces in between there and then there's two seats for people in here and then you can see this little back compartment so this just goes back on there this opens up and then this comes out so it's like a little portable kit I guess as a satellite dish and a gun there's a spot for the other gun on there or you can take that gun out and give it to um, one of the other minifigures 
that's pretty cool. And then yeah, that just fits in here in this little storage area. And yeah, you can just slide that back in there. And this goes back on top. Then when you close this, you see there's this feature here. Um, so this attaches on, this is a carrying cart for either one of the dinosaurs that comes in the set. The Atrociraptors also fit on it. Um, so we have this piece which attaches in here um, to connect it to the um, uh, truck. Uh, this has like a movable flap here. Um, and then these pieces on both sides move up and down um, to meet in the middle like that. So they hold on to whatever's um, trapped here. And of course it has um, two wheels on the underside um, to drive around with when it's attached to the main truck. So we can take Pyro Raptor and stick the little foot studs onto here. The Pyro Raptor is always complicated because it doesn't even stand up very well on its own. It's like tipped over easily. But anyway, you push these up like that and then it's being held here. And then you just connect this into here. And then it can drive around. And of course the steering is a horrible feature. It just doesn't steer. Um, but it can certainly, you can force it to like steer because you can hear how that works. It just does not steer, um, but it certainly drives well. And you can have the Pyroraptor trail behind uh, or the Dilophosaurus if you put it there instead. But anyway, we're gonna look at this again. So Pyroraptor, you can see it just like, as I set it down, it wobbles. Like, it just like, so easily tips over like it's just horrible design but yeah see it just wobbles when you set it up and it just is basically all you got to do is touch it just the slightest bit and it falls over which is kind of sad just like the slightest tap and it goes off balance whereas dilophosaurus is much better it has more balance but it still falls over occasionally but like i can see i can do that and it doesn't fall Whereas um, Pyroraptor, it falls when I do that. This time I have to actually apply much more force in order to knock it over. Um, but anyway, Pyroraptor is a little bit wobbly, which I don't like. Um, it's like you, you have to set it up just perfect or else it falls down when you're just trying to put it up. Like you see how bad that is. It is extremely bad. Um, doesn't matter what surface obviously carpet it's not gonna stay up on at all but like any hard surface it's the same where it just falls over super easily whether it's tile wood um anything like that it just yeah um but i still do like pyroraptor but they certainly should have made it black instead of orange so it'd be red and black and blue because that'd be like a hundred times cooler um in my opinion plus like painted black claws if they're gonna do that. Or actually, if they made it with black instead of orange, they wouldn't have even needed to paint the claws because then they'd automatically be black like the legs. Then they would just need to do the teeth or else the teeth would be black and that'd be weird. But it's weird enough to have orange teeth like that. Um, anyway, so then yeah, we can put Dilophosaurus on here and then drive it around. like that so either one can go on um and then it basically drives them around we also have this here these pieces um, move um on here and it has these on both sides then we have the windows on um both sides right here and the big uh, open area here in the back with the tail lights
But anyway, guys, um, that is it for the set. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.